Welcome this morning and thank you for uh, coming to Devotions. want to uh, welcome you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let's begin today by singing song number 174, In the Garden. to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses and the voice I hear falling on my ear the Son of God discloses and he walks with me and he talks with me he tells me that I am his own And the joy we share as we tarry there None other has ever known He speaks and the sound of his voice Is so sweet the birds hush their singing and the melody that he gave to me within my heart is ringing and he walks with me and he talks with me he tells me i am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever I'd stay in the garden with him, though the night around me be falling. But he bids me go through that voice of woe, his voice to me is calling. And he walks with me and he talks with me. He tells me I am his own And the joy we share as we tarry there None other has ever known Well, today's devotion has been given to us by Bill Bennett, a friend of the Society. And his verse is 1 Thessalonians 5.18. It says, No matter what happens, always be thankful, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Well, God always notices the grateful and thankful heart. Remember how God took a praise, singing, writing shepherd boy and made him the greatest king Israel ever had. There's no hint, not even an illusion, of God getting ever getting out of sorts when we aren't thankful. However, on the other hand, there is much evidence that we are affected by our own ingratitude and our lack of appreciation. What are the disastrous days and the nights that you can't sleep and the hours I can't rest? What about the pain that I'm in? Should we be grateful for these things too? Well, Jesus was. The Bible records that on the night that he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took some bread and he, what did he do again? He gave Thanks to God for it. It's not often that you see the words betrayed and thanks in the same sentence, much less in the same heart. In the midst of dark, the darkest nights of the human soul, Jesus always found a way to give thanks. Anyone can be, anyone can thank God for the light. Jesus teaches us to thank God for 
the night as well. Notice what the scripture has to say about giving thanks. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 says that God in everything, no matter what the circumstances may be, may be thankful and give thanks. For this is the will of God for you who are in Christ Jesus, the revealer and the meditator of that will. We're not told to be thankful for the bad things that show up in our lives, no. But the idea is that in spite of the bad stuff, we can remain thankful to God. Philippians 4, 6 through 7 says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God your needs and don't forget to thank him for his answers. If you do this, you will experience God's peace, which is far more wonderful than the human mind can understand. His peace will keep your thoughts and your hearts quiet at rest as you trust in Christ Jesus. What Jesus says to us is, you'll get through this, and we will. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, you have promised us that we'll make it through whatever circumstances we are going through. Thank you, God, that you are gracious and that you are loving, drawing us close to you, and that we can experience the peace of your Holy Spirit, the Comforter, through anything. So we rejoice in you and we thank you And we remember to pray the prayer that you taught your disciples to pray, which is the Lord's Prayer. So pray with me, everyone. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, let us turn on to our very last hymn for the day, which is hymn number 32, Amazing Grace. So hymn... Number 32, Amazing Grace. saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I am found. Was blind, but now I see. T'was grace hath brought my heart to fear. Grace my fears relieved How precious did that grace appear The hour I first believed Verse 4 Through many dangers, toils, and snares I have already come. Tis grace has brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. When we've been there 
ten thousand years bright and shining as the sun we know the days to sing God's praise then when we first begun well may the Lord bless you and keep you today may his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and may he turn his countenance toward you and give you his peace so go in peace and serve the Lord thanks be to God